Hello everyone. My name is Soran Haldar and I am an applications engineer for Hawkridge Systems. And in today's video, we'll be looking at a new feature that was introduced in SolidWorks Simulation 2017 that is the ability to convert an existing static analysis into a nonlinear study or a linear dynamic study. So I've got a static analysis that has been set up here. And if I wanted to create a nonlinear study with the exact same study settings, in 2016 or before, I would have had to create a new nonlinear study and then drag and drop all these study settings into my nonlinear analysis. In 2017, that process has been simplified quite a bit. Now, instead of creating a new nonlinear study, I can just right click on my static analysis and instead choose to copy the study. Keep in mind that this option has pretty much replaced the duplicate button that used to be here. So from the copy study property manager, you can choose the study that you want to copy as well as the new study name, the configuration that you want to use. And finally, the target study type. You can take a static analysis and convert it into a second static analysis or a linear or a nonlinear static or a nonlinear dynamic analysis or any of the four linear dynamic studies that are available to us. And there you go. Now, if there are connectors or fixtures or loads that are not allowed in your nonlinear analysis, for example, let me go ahead and unsuppress the virtual wall as well as a couple of foundation bolts that were there in my static analysis. And at this point, if I try to copy this study into a second nonlinear study, I will get an error message letting me know that it did create a nonlinear study. However, certain boundary conditions such as the foundation bolt and the virtual walls were not copied over. So that's pretty much it for my video. I hope you guys have found it useful. And do not forget to check out our YouTube channel for more What's New videos uh, for SolidWorks 2017. Thank you. Have a good day.